Hey folks, it is Thursday, March 17th. Here's what we're gonna do today. You are going to start by sharing what you've learned about elements of animation on the pop writing check-in one, all right? So just share your top three takeaways. And I would actually talk about it as it applies specifically to the film that you're analyzing. Um, then I want you to make a plan for drafting out um, uh, assignment two. So I want you to reread the assignment two prompt. If you haven't already copied this template uh, for the uh, for assignment two, because there's like a whole genre of formatting for the annotated bib and research proposal thing. And I want to make sure you know that for other classes, not just mine. Then I want you to decide what your writing goals are today. Um, and I've got basically a list of some things that you might want to try to accomplish. So just kind of check this, this list out if you're like, I don't know where to start. Start with these bulleted list points. Um, and then from there, I want you to, uh, once you have decided what tasks you want to spend today doing, just check into the pop writing check-in zero and just share those goals. Um, and then uh, once you're done uh, or towards the end of class, make a note to yourself and then hop back into pop writing check in zero and just tell your peers that you accomplished today so they can cheer you on. So for homework, you are going to return to Blazor and you are going to read slash skim chapters uh, three, four, and six um, that talk about different elements um, of storytelling that are happening in animated films. Um, and remember again that when you're reading it, you should always be asking yourself, how might this apply to help me look at my film in a way that I didn't see before and help me understand the choices that are being made by the people who created this film to get us to have a certain emotion uh, toward uh, and an interpretation towards a certain character or storyline, right? So, and then I know you're not going to be shocked by this. I want you to rewatch the film that you've chosen to analyze and then take some notes that are like, applying what you've learned from chapters three, four, and seven to Blazer's book. All right, cool beans.